energy, healing to real empowerment. Spirit child the spiritual traits we all share. Some more than others. By Ash D. Solomon. Am I psychic? Is my child psychic? Psychic child. Spirit child. Awakened child. Whatever we choose to label this phenomena. The truth is in discovering in the child and or in ourselves the signs or traits of the energy myriad. Is this all to do with hunches? Intuition. Sixth sense. Divination. Or prophecy? There are signs or traits to look out for. These signs can often be missed by the unobservant. These signs don't necessarily need to be consistent, overwhelming, or even overt. Some of these traits or signs are instinct, imaginary friends or pets, unexplained recall, high sensitivity or empathy, special affinity with animals, a yearning for solitude, artistic, creative, dreams of the lucid kind. An unapologetic stand out love and compassion for complete strangers. As was stated before, all these signs or traits do not need to be present in common for real ability to exist. Most children are naturally empathetic to the feelings of others and even animals. This should never be discouraged as much as a large part of commerce in society thrives on apathy toward animals and nature. The multi-billion dollar food industry that exists on the shoulders of our detachment. The older we get the more thorough the apathy covers up our true selves. Our happiness. Sadness. Love. Were all feelings that can easily be felt by others. More so from children. The empath of this world can not only feel these feelings but can also experience them as if in the driver's seat themselves. This means true connectedness. As adulthood descends, the more we sadly put on a metaphorical poker face and shut the door to our spirit emotions, the more we hide these emotions, the more we deny these altogether. We all need to make a conscious practice of getting them back. True empathy through all stages in life comes numerous benefits. Among these are a deep social understanding of a human condition. Less likelihood of unnecessary bad habits or dependencies. Higher chance of leadership capabilities. This can only add quality to our years and a more complete life experience that can be learnt from and taken with us to the next realm. These high emotions especially experienced by children are usually met with conflict either from themselves or from adults they try to communicate with. A confusion as to why they experience these things. An unfortunate sense of peculiarity. These young souls need to be gently illustrated to that these feelings are surely a gift. A gift equating to naturally special. High sensitivity. Overwhelmingness to large crowds. These reactions are not necessarily and shouldn't be pigeonholed with introvert in nature. As much as there is absolutely nothing wrong with the notion of being an introvert. Confusion and lack of understanding of the truth of the moment can only lead to miscalculation of a person's true nature or gifts. Misreading an awkward reaction to crowds. Groups. Even classrooms. Can only bring further discord and shutting out. High sensitivity in situations could very well be an opportunity. An opportunity to discover something new about ourselves. This high sensitivity could actually be many overwhelming energies being felt or experienced all at once. A possible comparison could be hearing a hundred radio stations all at once. The downside to this is misunderstanding, leading to isolation, where no one wins, sensitivity to television being too loud, or even the wrong energies emanating through us from other sources, junk energies, or energies simply left over from past experiences.
past arguments, or past traumas that clearly weren't resolved. These energies that don't have time barriers. The more psychic or spirit-filled a child is the more the child can inadvertently pick up on frequencies of all sorts. Picking up on some different reactions to people and the outside world may be a wonderful sign or trait that a balancing is needed for life completeness. Balancing can come in many shapes and forms such as a good dose of solitude in nature. A good dose of true one-on-one -on -one connectedness from a parent or sibling. Or a good dose of learning a musical instrument. We all need quiet time some more than others. A spirit or psychic child needs quiet time even more. Find the inner matchings of the comfort zone and we tune the frequency of the inner sensitive. A spirit child usually cannot be lied to. Even if one is lied to, they have a strong enough sense to humor the situation. Spirit or gifted children somehow know what's around the corner. The spirit guides that guide these children are an essential in their lives. Can easily be discouraged in many ways. Society for one, is probably the biggest deterrent of the spirit world and everything that comes with it. Imaginary friends. Pets. Cartoon characters. All play a role. We all have and all have had a guide or two. Some quite a few. Sometimes overt. Sometimes covert. To help bring clarity. We must instigate quiet time. Many children. Either spirit children or not. Find it difficult to recognize the need for quiet time. Somewhere in nature. Or even just quiet home time. Time out time. To listen. To sense. To be guided to recharge, to grow, to mature. It is this balance that we can all benefit from immensely. Even just once a week. A hike. A quiet walk through the park. Along a beach. Before most people are up and about. These imaginary friends. Weather people. Animals. Animated characters or even self-created characters of some sort, still need exploring. Start the dialogue. Ask what the imaginary friend looks like. Do they have a name? What kind of things do they talk about? If the child is constantly told either by us or by society that this is peculiar, then all we are doing is saying no to the possibility of many of life's gifts. Even in the possibility that this situation is not a spirit guide situation and all this comes down to is simply imaginary. Then by all means still encourage the invisible friendship. As an acute imagination throughout life can lead to countless opportunities in life. In career. And even one day changing the world for the better. Ask the child. Psychic or non-psychic. Be consistent with genuine interest above all things. Children can tell. How can we make our lives? Our classrooms. Our stories. Our world. A better place? By Ash D. Solomon.